Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise Ahaya, everybody. Praise Ahaya one more time. Praise Ahaya from whom all blessings flow. Amen and amen. This is your sister Carrie Ann in Yes, Hire the Christ. Yes, Hire the Messiah. Yes, Hire of Nazareth. If you want to know why I call God Ahaya and the biblical Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Yes, I have done a video about that. Quick housekeeping, brothers and sisters, you can skip this bit if you want to. But um, remember, when I make a comment, my name is Sister Carrie Ann. It is in solid gray border. Anybody else is a dirty demon. You need to report and rebuke. You need to rebuke and report them. That's pretending to be me. All right. So my name solid gray border. It can't be missed. All right. When I make a comment. All right. On here, brothers and sisters, we, we do the top 20. This was an instruction by the most uh, higher. It's not only, you know, it's nice to call out your, your names. I enjoy calling out your names because I get to know. No, even though I'm in the comment section anyway, talking and liking brothers and sisters comment. But equally, this top 20 is it's it's building your character, it's building the alert system in your spirit. You, you probably don't know it, but it is. It is to get you to be vigilant, to be sober, to be um to be watchful, amen, to what to the return of the Messiah. That is all it's about. Hallelujah. Because Yesiah is coming back. When all is said and done, going into the wilderness, this, that, whatever, the Antichrist, when all is said and done, the King of glory is coming for his people. Glory to your name, Lord. So these are the top 20 brothers and sisters underneath the video, super bold, very powerful, um, but very, very powerful video concerning the Super Bowl. We talked about the state, or it looks like FEMA, or it looks like a prison. The devil is a dirty lie. No truth in him. Watch that video, brothers and sisters. It's very powerful. All right, so top 20. Brothers and sisters in the most high. Stacy and Small. Mijel. Shanna Fisher. Asian Twist. Cynthia de la Serda, Jerome Animation, Joselle Cooper, Sully H, My Love Jesus, Emma Scarlett, I Am Ariel, Queen, Kent Siwa, Shorna Mackenzie, Andrea, I'll come back to that. Fresh Hype, Andrea Moore, Yvonne Powell, Eve New Beginnings, Joannette Pallister, and Amarachi Ozikiwi. All right, those are the top 20 brothers and sisters. Hallelujah, and the most uh, higher. And um, continue to like. What is it? Continue, to, yeah, obviously share, but continue to like comment and watch the video to the end it's a big ask uh, asking brothers and sisters to watch the video to the end but you know if you can I appreciate it because it what it does it smashes the dirty bots it smashes the algorithm and they have no choice because it's built in their thing to send the video out to people that I've never know you know so we want the, the this channel to reach because it's an end time channel and people need to know about the end time all right brothers and sisters um we are near, we're not only near to the return of the Messiah, but we're near to the um, the revealing of the Antichrist and the lawlessness of sin. And we have a theme banner. I'm going to get a banner actually behind me, a theme banner that says we are near. Glory to your name, Lord. So we are near and we have a prophetic theme song that's called We Are Near. It's a song that my mommy taught me when I was a little girl. I don't know nothing about New Year's Eve song or whatever. Um, it's just an innocent song to me. Um, my mom used to hide sweets and toys and when we were close, she used to sing, Oh, near you are. And I just thought that song is such a fitting song for these end times. All right. Hallelujah, and it goes like this. Oh, near you are, oh, near you are, oh, near you are, oh, near. Oh, near you are, oh, near you are, oh, near you are, oh, near. Hallelujah. Yes, we are near, and we can sing that song with confidence hallelujah with confidence all right brothers and sisters i want to sorry but this is a bit itchy okay i want to let me talk about this because this is this is prophetic this is prophetic and i to be honest with you god i didn't 
I didn't pay much attention to it. But this is quite deep. But Hollywood, I've been talking about Hollywood a lot, isn't it? Hollywood, dirty Hollywood knows everything, brothers and sisters. They're very wicked people. And um, they know the Bible. It's only us, born again. We don't study the word. But Hollywood do. Because they get the information from the enemy. Because the enemy knows from Genesis to Revelation and all the book of the Apophica, then Satan knows it. He knows. Because it will, you know. He knows. Now, a couple of days ago, a beloved beloved sister in the most style. She sent me a video. Can't really talk much about the video because it's about that. But listen to me. I'm gonna try. I don't even know if I can get it on Rumble. I don't even know the title. Is you know one of those videos that comes off? Um, I think they get she the video is on Bitchu or Rumble, one of those free speech channel. But you cannot come on you, you no way. Oh, they close it out. But um, she just sent me that video. But I think she's a doctor. This lady that was talking. And um, when I say that this woman is on point, I mean I just sat there listen, listening, and I said. Everything I was just agreeing, 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 agreeing. She mentioned something about vitamin C. And she said that when you take vitamin C, you must take it to a point where your stool become loose. Now, when I was growing up in Jamaica, and some of the Jamaicans can vote for this. When I was growing up as a child in Jamaica, and a teenager as well. Listen to me, I used to eat a lot of oranges. Like, yeah oranges galore you know coming from school going to something called the orange walk it was a steel orange you shouldn't do it really but anyways god forgive me please i was really naughty when i was young but um yeah we used to oranges and all of that and my stool used to be loose and my mom and my dad always say to me you know it's because it's always oh carry and eat carry eat too much orange you know you're eating too much orange. And they always say, if you eat so much orange, your eyes are going to go yellow. Sort of thing like. Uh, John D's. But, you know, it never did. But, um, but I used to eat a lot of orange. And my stool is always, you know, loose. So when this lady said that you have to have the vitamin C. When she said, when, she said, when your body have that the right amount of vitamin C, you'll, you'll get that slight looseness. Not, not runny, but just nice and soft. You know, and I said to her, oh, my days. I said, that's what used to happen to me, not only me, but all my friends and my brothers and everybody that used to eat a lot of oranges. So she's so correct. She's so right. So she was talking about the vitamin C to help to counteract that because she was basically talking about people who have had that. She said a lot of things in the video I can't mention it on here but one of the things that i talked about brothers and sisters coming from the spiritual realm what the lord showed me the um couple of, a year or so ago is that remember talk about the how am i gonna put it now remember talk about the i'm gonna spell it all right f u n g us all right um you know what that is but i'm gonna call it um fun goes all right you have to do these things you know people don't understand why speaking code they don't understand that you you literally the bots in you you if you say certain words they just mess about all right so, and I had a strike already, so I have to be careful, isn't it? So, remember I talk about the fun goals. I've just spelt it for you, all right? Um, and that I said that it is in that. And one of the things that this lady spoke about is that she said that the fun goals is in that. 100%. And one way of counteracting it is the... It's a medication um, that you use. You have the topical form, all right, that you use for something called rosacea, when you have a rosy cheek, all right? And the doctors may prescribe the topical one for you. I'm go it's, it, 
it's called cilantro gel but if you go and look for cilantro the other name for cilantro is the name that i can't really say on here because the enemy is fighting against that medication but it's like an antiparasitic it's like an antifungal medication you start with i Iver. If I ever say Iver, you can finish it, isn't it? Yeah, you can finish it for me. But it's called Cilantro. But the correct name is Iver Pause Mectin. Take out the word pause out of it. So Iver Pause Mectin. So take out the word pause and you get the full word. That that one. All right. Anyway. She talk about that, so she's advising people to take that so to help to counteract the 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 fun goals that's inside of some people. But this is very interesting because this is what I want to talk about that she says, and she blew my mind. She blew my mind when she came out this doctor and she said it. But she's a Christian. She said what a lot of people don't know, put me hands up, because she's talking to me. She said, what a lot of people don't know is that they don't understand the function of the earth. She said, a lot of people don't know that the earth itself has healing properties. No, I'm not talking about you going, getting your herbs and mixing them or getting clay and doing stuff. She says that what people need to do, especially those who have that, is literally go bare feet and stand on the earth. <laughs> Mighty God of creation, listen to me. When that lady say that, it, it, it was like, you know, when truth just drop on you, it was like that. So much truth haven't dropped on me in a long time, brothers and sisters. I mean, coming from someone else. That's what I mean. Coming from a human. But when she said it, brothers and sisters, it was like, I don't know, something inside of me just opened up. Like the Lord began to open me up and began to show me. And the Lord was speaking to me and said, she's correct. Everything she said about the earth is correct. That's why the enemy wants to destroy the earth. Bible say, woe unto those who destroy the earth. Now, if you look at Exodus, so warm. If you look at Exodus 3, verse 5, Exodus 3, verse 5, watch this, brothers and sisters. This is a prophetic coming in. Watch this, Exodus 3, verse 5. The Bible reads, And he said, This is the Lord speaking to Moses. And he said, Draw not nigh either. Stop, Moses. This is how he is speaking. Put off thy shoe, shoes from what? From off thy feet. For the place where on thou standest is holy. Hallelujah. So when the lady said that, brothers and sisters, this is a scripture that the Most High straight away gave to me. And when the Lord was speaking to Moses and he says to Moses, look, take off your shoes because the, gro the ground that you stand on, the place you stand in is holy. Ahaya is not only saying to Moses, okay, that little patch of area. No, it's the whole entire earth. Hallelujah. Power is in the earth, brothers and sisters. That's the reason why you see all, you see, I'm telling you, oh, Father, Hollywood is so wicked. That's the reason why you see all these people who do the, the yoga business and the meditation. You see them outside on the grass, but they're challenging, 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 I swear the word, I can't say the word, challenging, if I say it right, and a different entity. But you as a born again, child of the most die, you have all right to go and stand on the grass bare feet and begin to storm the gates of heaven, begin to pray. Because it's still a higher that you're praying to. You're not praying to another God. You're not praying to the earth. No, 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 no. But you've, you've got to understand what was happening to Moses. You've got to understand what the Lord is saying concerning the earth. 
So this lady, when she said that, she said, those who have taken that, they literally need to go stand on the grass, not on your floor, on the literal earth, which is the grass or, or dirt or something like that, not on the ground because we're not talking tile and the carpets, no, literally outside. Not on your pavement either because you've got concrete on it. So you need to find grass or literal dirt and stand in it. Because she said, when, when you do that, she said, well, how, did, how did she put it? Hallelujah. Glory to your name, Lord. I understood it. She's like, said the, the, in, you've got like something, she said, that's connected you to the earth through Christ. And when you go and you literally stand with your feet on the earth, it pulls out the toxin. Hallelujah. Glory. And it, it's not only for that. It's for people like diabetes, cancer, AIDS, any sickness at all. But you've got to have the faith. You're still praying to the most high. All right, you're not you're not praying to a different God. You're not praying to the Mother Her. No, you're not worshiping that stuff. But it's just it's the connection because here you have it with Moses. It's in the Bible. It says Ahia says, "Put off thy shoes. Watch this from off thy feet, for the place whereon thou standest is holy ground." So, brothers and sisters, if the ground is holy. Don't you think you're going to get healing? <gasps> Sorry. Don't you think you're going to be healed from whatever connect with the earth? This is why Satan wants to destroy the earth. Because he knows the power that the actual earth. This is why Hollywood makes so much movie. I can't even think of a movie right now that they make. What about the Avatar? The Avatar. I used to like that movie. was one of my favorites. I don't watch it anymore. Anyways, but... Avatar, how did they do it? They're connected to the earth, isn't it? In Avatar, the blue people, the blue alien people. They're, con they're connected to the tree, but equally they're connected to the earth. So any movie that Hollywood makes that you see them connecting to the earth, they're getting power from the earth. It's this. It's literally Exodus 3 verse 5. Brothers and sisters, I, it's just because it's, it's really cold over here in, in the UK. But listen to me, those of you who live in tropical islands, like the Caribbean, parts of America that's really, really warm and stuff like that, please connect to the earth. Go outside barefoot. Find the grass. Not talking the pavement that's concrete off. No, literal ground, literal dirt or grass. That's, that's not man-made. Not artificial grass. Grass that's grown from the Lord. That's the um, storm over here. And begin to pray. Connect to the earth through Christ. This is not yoga. All right. So you are still praying to the most high. But while you're praying to the Lord, brothers and sisters, while you're, while you're meditating on the Lord, while you're praying to the most high, your feet and the earth becomes one. Because the earth is holy and you are a vessel. So that holiness pulls out those stuff out of you hallelujah i can't wait till it warm up and i don't care if the neighbors see me i don't i don't care I, i'm gonna stand in my garden hands up high and i'm going to begin to pray because now i know the truth and those of you who are family members you know they may be wheelchair bound or i don't know the bed ridden it it's difficult to bring them outside but if they're really poor if they can and their feet can literally touch the grass, the ground. Bring them, brothers and sisters. And even if they can't speak, or just let them stand for, hold them up and let them stand for a few minutes or whatever. Close their eyes, meditate on the Lord. Let the earth heal them. Power. You see? Her? So when the lady, when this doctor lady said, and the way she said it, oh, I don't even know I can share that, that thing. I'm going to have to ask that sister to send me the link. And like, oh yeah, I can put it on me. Um, oh, hallelujah, glory, glory. I can put it on me. Me what? Me, me um. 
my website is in it but how do i get it on the website because i don't have a link it's just literally a video like i said it's from whatsapp isn't it so it's literally the whatsapp it's just a video no link or anything so i'm gonna have to ask that sister to find me the link and um i'll get it yes i'll put it on my website thank you jesus hallelujah because i'm on rumble you know but i don't even know my password because i don't use rumble that much but i'll try to find the link it might not be up today brothers and sisters but as soon as i put it up as soon as i put it up i will come back and i will let you know that i've put it up all right but yes brothers and sisters this is prophecy this is a deep revelation yes i'm a prophetess of the most higher but i don't know everything and i never know concerning connecting to the earth i had no idea i had no idea. but when the lady said it the holy spirit just it's so like something just lifted from me and it's straight to where the lord bought me and showed me in my spirit exodus 3 verse 5 the holy spirit was confirming with this doctor lady she's correct stand connect with the earth connect with the earth don't care if your if your neighbors see you out there praying so what when they're out there boogieing and dancing and grinding and carrying on drinking and partying nobody's saying anything we need to connect to the earth there's it's powerful because like the lord you know yesiah used clay spot on the clay and he used clay to heal the man. It's a man's faith, obviously. But that's sig so significant, brothers and sisters. We were made from the earth. We were made from the earth. So if we, hallelujah, yes, Lord. So if we're made from the earth, those same thing that's, 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 that's made... Glory to your name, Lord. Listen. Become one with the earth. Begin to stand on the earth with your bare feet and pray to the Most High. Connect with the earth, brothers and sisters, because Moses was told, take off your shoes from off your feet for the place that you stand that is holy, holy ground. And it's not just up there. Is it Mount Sinai? Moses was. It's not just up there on the mountain. It's the whole entire earth. Because why would I, why would Ahia just make just that little tiny patch holy? No. The whole entire earth is all holy, brothers and sisters. Powerful, isn't it? There's a song. One of my favorite worship song when I used to go to church. <laughs> I used to try to sing that song all the time. It's so powerful. But <clears throat> I try to sing it. It goes something like this. We are standing on holy ground. And I know that there are angels all around. Let us praise Jesus now. Hallelujah. We are standing in his presence on holy ground. Let us sing that one more time. If you know it, just sing it one more time. We are standing, yes, on holy Oh, yes, Lord. And I know that there are angels all around. Yes, there are angels. Hallelujah. 
Let us pray, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesus, now, oh, we are standing in your presence on holy ground hallelujah yes brothers and sisters make connection with the earth especially those who have had that go and stand outside and let the earth draw out the toxin out of you hallelujah give it back to the earth because the earth can handle it let it draw the tax and not only for that alone but like i said for other illnesses other diseases anything anything brothers and sisters any problem any issue much marital problem issue with your children issue with your family make connection with the earth and pray to the most high powerful so i wanted to come and release this prophecy to you brothers and sisters. some of you already may know about it but for me it's brand new hallelujah brand new hallelujah so be bold be strong be courageous walk with ahaya just like enoch all praises all beautiful praises to the most high ahaya who lives above the heavens ahaya eternally bless you i love you all and i will see you soon someday in glory in yes highest holy name amen and amen amen blessings amen